It's another edition of Hashtags here on VOPTV, the throwback edition to be precise. All right, you're welcome to Hashtags here on VOPTV, a show that is all about everything trending on social media, the good, the bad, the ugly. Okay, yes, we dissect it all, we break it down. Okay, when you're out and about all day trying to make that money, make the money that we can make in this current you know, economy, well, you may not be abreast of what's happening on social media and what the hashtags have been all day. So while I'm here to do that for you, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, okay? Yes, we talk about entertainment, politics, business, sports, and many more. All right, I'm Kayla, and I'm your host. And you could definitely be a part of today's show by just joining me on YouTube at Voice of the People TV and on social media we're at VOP TV Live. Don't forget you could definitely comment and share your opinions on all the hashtags we'll be talking about today. Okay, we've got very, very interesting hashtags today. Well, we always have interesting hashtags, all right? But today we've got entertainment and a little bit of business. Well, <laughs> when I tell you the business part is the most, most demanding part, well, you you would get get up to date very soon, all right? Yeah, well, we've got the hashtag Rama and the hashtag Naira. We'll be getting into that shortly, but just after this break, do not go anywhere. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Throwback Edition here on VOP TV. Well, the Throwback Hashtag Edition. Yes. Okay. Well, we're not really throwing anything back, but it's okay. It's his first day, so it's better known as a TBT. That is Throwback Thursday. You get it? Yes. Okay. Well, let's get into today's conversations because there's a lot been going on. But we've got the hashtag Rama. Well, what is Rama trending for? What's the news? What's the gist about Rama? I will tell you. Rama has been trending because he has been announced to be one of the major African artists to perform at the upcoming Brit Award. Hey, isn't that beautiful? Well, it is because Rema is just becoming like a mini, or, or, or let me say younger Burner Boy. You do recall that Burner Boy got nominated and he was also picked to perform at the Grammys. Well, yes, Burner Boy was nominated for the Grammys and he was picked to perform at the Grammys. And he performed with uh, 21 Savage and Brandy, beautiful performers, I must say. Yes, well, Rema looks like he's taking over his footsteps. Why do I say so? Because Rama has been nominated at the Brit Awards sh sh show 2024 coming up, and he's also going to perform. And he happens to be the first African artist, Afrobeat artist, to be doing that. That is big deal, guys. Look at how we are skyrocketing. Look at the sound Afrobeat, how it's going far. Look at how international we've become. Isn't that amazing? It's just a big deal. And not to speak of it, but Rama is quite young. He he did come into this industry some years back, and well. When I say he came in and he came to really, really, really take over the big cats and take over the big dogs, that is the vibe, honestly. Because look at Rama today. I mean, nobody has done this from this Afrobeat as well, from this space, from Nigeria. And he's the first person doing that. We all, you trust the ravers to come out on social media to make noise about their fave because right now they're making a lot of noise and the noise is quite interesting it's impressive and it's needed i mean you need you need to you need to show your wings and you know show people why your fave is really your fave okay but yes a lot of fans Rema's fans have come out on social media to just really 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 acknowledge the superstars to superstar success and how much he's been doing since he broke out in the industry. Well, it's good to see that Rema is doing great things. It's good to see that he's also one of the major artists, a young artist to be precise, taking Afrobeats to that very, very international scale and global scale. Well, it's good to see. Well, let's see what social media is saying because you trust and believe, like I said, the social media is going to talk about this. And I just want to say this is a big deal. I'm really, really happy. Congratulations, Rama, on this very, very beautiful announcement from Brit Award. And we can't wait to see you perform because Brit is coming up very, 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 very soon. So, well, let's take comments on social media. Well, this is at Daniel underscore the Alpha. Ravers, take notes. So, share. This one is giving people a message out there. <laughs> Rama is the first Afrobeat act to perform at one. Ballon Dior, biggest award show in football history. Yeah, that's true. Rolling Loud, the biggest music festival in the world. 
And now the Brit Awards is incoming. We are up, okay. <laughs> Love it. I mean, the Ravens are currently very, very proud, like I said. And yes, these are the major places that Rema has been the first Afrobeat artist to actually perform at. Well, Brit hasn't come yet, but it's upcoming, and we're going to see him perform. And isn't that good? Because, I mean, even if he doesn't win the award, he did do something. He did take Afrobeat out there, and he put Afrobeat on that stage that particular night, which was what, you know, Brenner Boy did for us on two at the Grammys night. He put Afrobeat on the stage, even though we didn't get an award that night, but he performed for us. Okay, yes, well, this is at Lahan 199X. <laughs> Rema has not been properly online for months, but somehow he is still making more waves than his so-called mates. <coughs> Ravers, your mouth is sharp, it's sharp. Okay, let's also speak of why Rema is trending. Rema is also trending because you all do recall uh, that song from Vic Tony, titled Soweto, Vic Tony and Temple. Well, he did do a remix with Amale. He did a remix with Rema. There were two versions, actually, to that song. Well, that song has gotten 100 million streams on Spotify. That's like the biggest, 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 biggest one. And it's a big deal because Rema himself has been doing so much big things with his Calm Down remix that he featured with Selena Gomez. That song has gone on a different, different billboard, top 100, number one on every chart for weeks. I mean... <laughs> This is Rama. Yes, it's Rama for you. Doing big boy things, big cat things, you know. Yes, well, this is that Okwe, Okwe is the boy. Hmm. Do we still need a Rama and Selena Gomez's Calm Down stage performance? Well, it looks like he may just do that at the Brit Awards coming up because he may just want to, you know, serenade his fans with the Calm Down remix again. And I would love to see that, honestly. And I would even love to he have... Selena Gomez, even though I know she may not come, but yeah, it'll be amazing to see both of them perform. Well, we get to see Rama doing wonderful things. Like I said, he has so many of his songs, top 100, number one on many charts, streaming platforms. The Selena Gomez uh, Calm Down remix is the most viewed on YouTube at the moment. It's, it has over, I think, 100 million views. It's amazing. Well, this is also at Lahon 199X. It looks like you're a very big Ravers fan. Or Rama's fan of real big braver. Hear me out. The best possible scenario is Rama dropping a song a week before the Brit Award, then performing the song, and obviously come down at the award. That will be a proper promo, especially in the UK. Well, let's talk about it, shall we? Well, shout out to you, <laughs> Lahan. I believe I pronounced that well, but you really love Rama. I can see your Rama doings. But let's talk about it. Why is should we call or can we mention or call Rema a very strategic artist? And he knows how to promote himself. You guys do recall back in 2022, 2023, when the remix of Calm Down was just about to, you know, come out. He started promoting himself even in India and everybody was loving Rema in India and in many other countries. And you just know that significant thing about Rema, knowing how to put himself and his music out there to the international fans. Kudos to you, Rema. You're really, really a very, very smart one. And just seeing that you're young, but you're doing great things is really, really very, very amazing. Well, this is a Lowy underscore gold one. New school Afrobeat artist with songs of with 100 million streams on Spotify. Well, there's a list of new school Afrobeat artists. I mean, like the new ones, the ones we have that are just, that are just coming out with 100 million streams on Spotify. Well, Rama is at number one with six songs. Amale at number three. Fireboy also with the number three. Aristar uh, with number with one song. Libyanka with one song. Oxlade, Wonder Batting with one song. LAX, a Joe Boy. Davido and Mr. Keys, the unavailable song. And Keys Daniel with one song. So Rem is really like topping the charts, even with the big cats on that list. Hey, my God. Now it's amazing to see. I'm really, 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 really excited and happy for him. I mean, that's the way to go, honestly. It's just good to see that the Gen Zs are also coming out and doing very, 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 very well. So yes, shout out to you, Rema. Congratulations to you. Like I said earlier, we hope to see that performance. And trust me, after that performance, I'm going to come back here and really give you guys a breakdown. If I give you clips, give you footages, all you need to see about that particular performance at the Bridge Awards coming up short, very, very soon. 
soon, okay? Yeah, so Rema is the, the current king of Afrobeats right now just because of this amazing news that he's going to be performing at the Brit Awards. And don't forget, he is also nominated for a category. He's not the only Afrobeat artist nominated as well. We've got David O, we've got, uh, we've got Asha Kerr, yes, and many other artists. Well, well done, Rema, you're doing great. This is as uh, a day junior, Burner Boy at the Grammys main stage a few weeks ago. Now Rama set to perform at the Brit Awards. This growth, this Afrobeat, layers. this is exactly what I was saying. It looks like Rama was just coming up as a young Burner Boy. And let's not forget about how Burner Boy has been that you know, older artist that has been supporting Rema for many years now. Ever since Rema broke out to, you know, mainstream and broke out into the limelight, Burna Boy has been that one artist supporting him, supporting what he does, and just being there for him. So it's good to see, like, he's just following his, you know, big brother's footsteps and is doing great and doing successful things as well. All right, well, let's move into um, very, very interesting stories now. Hmm. This one has touched the heart of Nigerians. Well, it looks like lots of Nigerians are really crying right now. And the hearts of Nigerians are broken and are not, is definitely not at peace and not in one piece, I must say, because lots of Nigerians have come out on social media to decry the upsurge of Naira to one a, to a dollar. Right now in the parallel market, one Naira, oh, yes, a Naira is one dollar, I beg your pardon, to Naira is uh, 1,600. Now, many people are just looking at it like, wow, really? We're really getting there? Now, people have said in the next five months, probably in December, dollar is probably going to be 5,000 Naira. Dollar to Naira is going to be 5,000 Naira. Uh, a bag of rice may be 300K because currently a bag of rice is over 60,000 Naira. And this is what the country is currently facing. Just you know, the economic hardship, we're seeing also food poverty, we're seeing inflation, we're seeing the hike in fuel price and petrol, we're seeing the we're seeing the insecurity and just so much and it feels like we're not even getting back on this. Well, you get to see the government also come government coming out to promise uh, the citizens and promise the Nigerians, promising us that things are going to get better, challenges are going to end really, really soon, the hardship will end shortly, but doesn't look like it to many of the netizens because uh, they are saying if the Naira, uh, the dollar to Naira currently is 1,600, then what is going to become of Nigeria in the next six to seven months, okay? Yes, well, this is a video of the current president, President Bola Tinubu, you know, at the time of his campaign before winning the presidency title and what he gave the new renewed hope agenda that he gave Nigerians. Well, let's listen to it because many people have referred to this particular speech and they're saying, well, we can't see all of these things you promised us. They are nine months into your administration and it looks like the country is really, really digging deep into a bigger and bigger, bigger hole every, every other month, all right? Well, let's take a listen to the speech and we'll get back into what the netizens are saying online. That one, a thing nice that this thing will go chop. that this thing will go chop. <laughs> uh, well, there you have it. Uh, see what uh, the president said just uh, before, uh, during his campaign for the presidential title. Well, let's see what netizens have come out to say. Like I said, a lot of people are going home now without going to bed without food. Many people can't even survive any longer they can't afford not to talk of uh, they can't afford a meal a day not to talk of the three square meals in a day and many many people are dealing with uh, the hardship this economic hardship in the country now well, let's see how people have come out to react to this hashtag naira because it's definitely definitely deteriorating to the to human humanity is deteriorating to everybody now in Nigeria. Uh, this is at two day underscore underscore. Uh, to further understand and how useless the Naira has become, visit any of the neighboring countries and watch how the Bureau, the Change guys will clown the hell 
out of you once they see Naira in your hand. Dash someone 1K Naira, 1,000 Naira notes, they will reject it or see it as an insult. 1,000 Naira is equal to 400 sefer. It can only buy a bottle of water. It wasn't like this a year ago. Whew, okay, I mean, <laughs> now you see how things have become. It has become really, really ridiculous. Many people are really just also doing a lot of exchange and seeing how the Naira does not have any value any longer. And it's just becoming really, 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 really disturbing to the lives of Nigerians, to the life of any Nigeria, whatever standard, the least, the, lo the layman, everybody is getting disturbed by the day because we are asking these questions, we're asking the government these questions, how long do we have to deal with these things? How long are we going to continue like this? You keep promising us, you keep coming out to say, well, these things are going to get done, these things are going to change, and we are yet to see the changes. As a matter of fact, many people are wondering what this renewed hope uh, the president, the current president of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, promised us of where is when is it going to start? Because how long, how much more should we wait? Okay, yes. Well, this is a Lawrence Okoro PG Tinubu during campaign throwing shade at Peter B. He thinks in our statistics we go chop after elections. It's statistics of naira to dollar that's chopping Nigerians. Well, that's the unfortunate situation. Well, there you have it. This is a, what this person feels or this netizen had to say about the hashtag Naira trending on social media. And we have just many more and many more hashtags. We have many people talking. That me, I mean, we have to address all of what they had to say because I must say, people were really taking this. Well, people are currently taking this situation out of place we're all scared we're not sure what's going to happen like i said earlier some people feel that maybe by the month of december this is the second month of the year we're in february maybe by december naira dollar to naira maybe five thousand naira well we do not hope so we pray something can be done but yeah that is the current situation well this is at any turn capristone is now 200 naira apc what have you done the fact <laughs> i'm just going to laugh here a bit uh because the fact that you know the saying, different strokes for different folks. This person is currently looking at the fact that Capricorn is now 200 Naira. Like, in, for real, Capricorn is 200 Naira? I didn't know that because what? Oh, my God. Now, this is very, very, very shocking to me, I must say. And I've not had Capricorn in years, okay? Yes, I mean, but this is, this is out of place. And where, what is happening? What is really, really happening? 200 Naira. That, if you take it. The Capricorn has finished now, and that's more than a bottle of water. Actually, like a bottle of water, that's more than the price of a bottle of water. That's uh, that's very very interesting. Well, we have many more uh, many more reactions, and a lot of people are currently speaking on this case because, whew, it is not funny at all. I must assure you that. Oh, this is a buzz wire L L Z Z. Uh, $1 is 1,600 Naira, Yahoo Boys. I believe this is a big picture or picture of Aki and Popo enjoying. Well, this is, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about this particular tweet because at the end of the day, er, many of us are going to still, it's still going to tell on us. Every day you go to the market, every day you go to buy something, the prices change. You're literally getting a hike in price every two market days. Are you serious? How long are the Yahoo boys or people doing, trans, doing businesses in dollars uh, and keep dancing? Because it's going to definitely tell on us at some point. And we should not dance. We should all come out and talk. Oh, please, we should come, and come out and really, really speak to the government because things are not looking good uh, right now. I, I must say things are not looking great at all. I mean, there you have it. <laughs> $1 is now 1,600 Naira. And this is the rate at which we are right now in Nigeria. Well, it is a lot. It is really, really unfortunate. It's really appalling. It's not something that we'll be, we're proud to talk about. I'm not even proud to talk about it. Well, this is at worst popping. Uh, personally, I wouldn't forgive former President Buhari for every Naira stolen, embezzled, or mismanaged during his eight years in power. As long as I have a stake in it as a Nigerian, it will be repaid on the day of reckoning. Well, there you have it. That is somebody's own opinion and this is what they feel concerning the current inflation the economic
hardship and just the economic situation in the country. Well, we have to call it a wrap on this note because uh, that is how far we can go on today's show. But just believe, just stay tuned, believe. We will keep having <laughs> faith and keep being hopeful and just hope that one day things are really, really going to change in this country, Nigeria. All right? Yes. Well, that's it on hashtags here on VOP TV. You could definitely catch up with more editions on YouTube at Voice Other People TV and on social media with VOP TV Live. Okay? Yes. I'm Kayla, and I'll be here next week. Bye for now.